We're back on the Vicky Gotti Show, and I'm here with the legendary old world mother guitar. Hey. It feels good to say that now, huh? You love that now, old world. Does it feel good for you? <laughs> I'm asking you, do you like it? Maybe. I, I, don't, I don't, a title doesn't define me. So that's basically why you left the house to Miss No, like that's that. not why. Honestly. No, that's not why. You want to show over world mother position. You yeah. felt like, you know, I do so much, I should be over world. No, that's not why I left the house of Ms. Rocky. It had nothing to do with being an overall mother or having a position. I left the Miss House of Ms. Rocky because I was mother I was mother Miss Rocky in YC for a year. I was overall East Coast mother for two years and I didn't feel that I was a mother in the house of Ms. Rocky. That's actually why I left the house of Ms. Rocky. When I went to every other state, I felt like I was mother. The children treated me like I was mother. I never felt that I was mother in New York. I never felt that I had the respect that I deserved as the mother in New York City. Because if anybody knows about the House of Mizrahi, or it's probably not even just the House of Mizrahi, houses in general, it looks good on the outside, but on the inside it's not good. It may look good to you. I want to know, Kelly, would you in no shame ever in life become, if they ask you, you know, that Andre say, Kelly, no shame, take you out to lunch and ask you, I want you to be the old woman in this house, Kelly, come back, motherfucking home, bring you and Naomi back, come home. Would you do it for the old woman in the position? No, I wouldn't do it for the old woman in the position. My, my time and my tenure that I had in the house of Ms. Rocky, it was wonderful and it was great and you can't take anything from the house of Ms. Rocky. I love the house of Ms. Rocky down. That's, that, w- that was my family. That was my family for 13 years. And right. I have reached all that I can reach in the house of Mizrahi. So now it's time for me to take and do my venture as a couture and to take and have my own blueprint and my own stamp in history in the ballroom scene. I already started my print and my stamp as the first overall East Coast mother. And all the girls sat and they read down Oh, Jack and Andre didn't have a position for her, so they made this overall East Coast mother title. Jack and Andre never once made overall East Coast mother position. That position came from me. I sat on the phone with my sister Jasmine. Then we brought the proposition to Andre because I felt as a mother and a father in the ballroom scene, when you look for something and you look for a look like Caliente was the father when I was New York City mother. I didn't feel that if they had a mother and father category that me and Caliente would blend with each other. So that's where the overall East Coast mother came from to give me something higher and to find somebody that would blend with Caliente. And at that time, I had brought it up that we should because Giselle was a 007. Oh, no, she wasn't the 007. I forget what house she was in, but she wasn't extravaganza at this. I think she was not extravaganza or she was in another house. So I told them that Giselle and Caliente would blend together as a mother and father. So let's get Giselle in the house and put her and Caliente together. And then I'll be overall East Coast mother. And then we'll find somebody that will stand next to stand me. To you. And that's Tell how me, it And say who you think could stand next to you. Like, who would you want? I'm just saying, I, I'm not saying for us to or whatever, whoever's going to come. Who can be your overall mother for this house? And and, 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 and and even if they is in the house, I just want to know, like, who would sit well with you, Kelly? Well, Honestly. well, it's it's only a couple of people that would sit well, but it's not as, being as an overall mother, it's not that I want to, you know, be out there walking categories and doing things. I just want to sit back, and I just want to observe and watch my house build. And... If I was to see somebody standing next to me, I would definitely have to say, it would definitely have to be like somebody like a, a Rodney, a James, you know, one of those people that could stand next to me. But that's not the look I'm going for. I'm going for a total package when I think about the overall father of the house. It's all right. <laughs> now, you know, I mean, I feel like, now, Kelly, what advice coming in, like, New girls that want to be in this scene, I look up to you, I respect you, as you know, you are a role model, Kelly, in this scene, so people look up to you, whatever. What advice would you give them coming into this? Like, 
I tell the girls all the time, when the girls hit me up and the girls tell me on Facebook or the girls inbox me or send messages and stuff, I tell all the girls all the time, and I want to look right in the camera when I say this, I don't want the girls to take and live for me. I want the girls to take and live for themselves. Because at the end of the day, y'all girls out there in the boardroom scene, y'all only living for me for my attitude that I give in the scene or what I do on the floor or how I act at the balls. But outside of the balls, you girls, you don't know these people. Whether they're icons, whether they're legends, whether they're statements or stars. You girls don't know these people. So you only living for them because what they do on the floor. You don't know if these bitches, half of these bitches ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to fucking throw it out. But y'all live for these motherfucking bitches. Half of these bitches can't even pay their motherfucking bills. But they all got motherfucking habits and you girls live for them. Don't live for them because what they do on the floor. Because you don't know what these bitches got on outside of the floor. A lot of these bitches go home and they don't even have a motherfucking bed to sleep on. They sleep on a futon or they sleep on a blow-up mattress or they sleep on somebody's well, fucking floor. That, you don't know no, it's not, it's not, it's not me. It's not me. Don't live for me. Don't live for me. Because Kelly Mizrahi, excuse me, sorry, don't live for me for Kelly Couture. Don't live for me because I'm a legendary. Live for me, live for Kelly Unique Knight. That's the person you need to live for. Because at the end of the day, do you well, see this establishment? Honestly, it's fabulous. It, it's fabulous. I wish Kelly do have her own. She's been having it for a long time. I knew Kelly, and I will honestly say, I live for Kelly Knight. I don't know this Kelly in the world because I don't, you know, I live for that just personal reason. You put up a front for these people. Baby, don't, it's a shame. Don't live for Kelly. Don't live no, for I don't. Kelly. I live don't for Kelly live, Knight. Don't live for which who I know. Don't well, live for Kelly Knight too much. The heart, the heart that don't Kelly Knight has. Don't live for had. Don't live for Kelly Knight no. too much because you're married to Paris. And no, not like that. I cannot be Seth Green and me and have a relationship. You know, I don't want no. I don't want no. <laughs> I don't want no shade with Miss so, Paris. Anyway, Kelly. At the end of the day, it was fun. We had a lovely chat. I'm wishing it a resolution. New Year's resolution. Yes. I'm not going to tell you that. Tell your fans. Speaking I'm of not, fans, Kelly, how do you feel about your fans, though? How do you feel about your fans, Kelly? Because you just said you don't want to buy them for you, but... I don't have fans. I want y'all to be my friends. I don't want y'all to be my fans. Oh, so you don't... You, so, Kelly, you're not going to say you live for your fans or you love your fans or thank you for the support I or love every. I love everybody that listens to the radio show and everybody that does everything they do, honey. Like, what the fuck? So, dude, I'm saying, but Kelly, when you find out when somebody inbox you and say, oh, my God, I'll for you, do that, or you my baby, I tell them to, what I do you say to them? Like, I you mean, them, do I'm saying, do that, do that if you feel good I about them, yourself? I tell them, How I do tell, you feel? I tell them the same thing that I just told you. Don't live for me because of what I do on the floor. Live for yourself, child. It's a lot of things out there for you. I mean, <laughs> that's what I tell them. I'm not being real with you, girl. Are you really serious? Yes. I wish somebody to confirm it that Kim Kelly... Could so I want to know what she told y'all. Was she overwhelmed? Like, thank you so much, baby. Did you ever say that, Kelly? Honestly, no. Thank you, I man. told them to live for themselves. Back in the day, Kelly, we were. <laughs> no, I told them to live for themselves. That's what the fuck I tell them to do, honey. <laughs> You're fierce. I'm not fierce, baby. I'm motherfucking real, honey. Learn it, honey. Girls, please, honey. I'm saying it. But thank you. Oh, say, girl, please. <laughs> mistake. Is Vicky Gotti is over here trying to mistake. And she's I was just saying, we got saying, a lot of we got a lot. It's a lot of other questions that Vicky forgot to ask and all types of things. And with that. And you know, oh, but two more questions I want to know, Kelly, and before I end the show, my show, the Yo best show. show. <laughs> Are you going to the Miss Mary Christmas party? I was asked to perform. By? By Jack. Okay. Second question, can you cook? Because there was a lot of speculation at the girls' reading you know, about your cooking, your food was nasty, and I heard pussy calling the show. I'm like, well, I wonder what they would say about me. I mean, it was just so much. Hi, what do you say about that? Baby, my cooking, my cooking was never nasty. The girls ate my cooking for many, many years. And anybody that knows me, baby, and has been to my house or has been around, they know that mother burns the motherfucking stove down, honey. I cooked down. My magic is fab. And you know, Why would they say that? Because the girls are late. Miss they ain't got nothing else better to say. Miss they like, what? Now, Kelly, okay. Well, I see this also. I live for Kelly Knight. Well, it's extra. Anyway, All the extra. Kelly. It's the Vicky. 
It's the and, Nikki, it's the Nikki and, and uh, Kelly show. I'm Kelly and Lila, and you will want to work with me. No, um, actually, last I wouldn't want to work with you. Last but not least, are you going to tell people about the awards for? That you're really behind all of that? With Jackie on you, because your name never be, you never get a thank you, appreciate. I never heard none of that. And people don't even know you had anything to do with that. Well, you could, you know, it was just so many things that was happening that has been was happening with the awards for, and you know, and I never got credit for any of the things that I did. You know, my I e my decorations, I e the awards that you girls have been getting for many years, y'all trophies that y'all have been getting for many years. Yes, I am the bitch behind all of that. I am the bitch with the theme, you know, of the decorations and the platters for the tables and the trophies and all that. And, you know, and I, the girls were supposed to give me one thing, and then at the end of the night, I didn't get what I was supposed to get. And like I told everybody, it was never about the money. It's about, you know, no one never even showed me no appreciation. Everybody else gets awards and Certificates about their appreciation. Wait, tell me honestly, stop. Well, honestly, seriously, and why do you feel like you never got recognized? Like honestly, like I honestly, I in your heart. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't understand why I never got recognized. I don't understand why I never got recognized and why the girls never recognized me. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know. And the girls do what they do. And as y'all seen, I didn't do no awards for last year. Um, and you don't have anything to do with it this year. No, I didn't have anything. I haven't had anything to do with the awards for the last two years. And as you see, it's no shade to my daughter Antandra. You know, when the girls came to the awards for last year, they had empanadas on the tables. I never did empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> empanadas? Oh, mistake! You only eat empanadas when they come fresh out the pot. <coughs> But I'm talking about empanadas down for the girls' mistake. The girls grab and I'm going to put this out there. The girls, everybody grab go out and spend $2,300 on some trophies. Grab and give me $1,500 for my $12,000 worth of work that I did. The girls only want to give me $500 and say, oh, that's Kelly. She'll be all right with it. But if we're going into this as a business and you're doing something with somebody, you would never, you can never tell the DJ... Oh, I only made such and such amount of money. I'm going to give you $700 out your $1,400 for DJ. You can't do that. So the girl shouldn't have did that to me. And at the end of the day, I just got over it and I got tired of it. So, you know, I only work for my sister. I only work for my sister, Jazz. Yeah, and man. Then we, will there be, everybody saying, last but not least, will there be a control wall? It, there will definitely be a house of control wall. <laughs> definitely coming really soon. Already? Right. Really, it's going to be one. It's going to be one. Not soon like that, mm. but sometime in the near future. 2012. There's definitely going to be a House of Couture Ball. You know the coins are definitely going to be there. They're going to be in the building. It's going to be brown. And kind of honestly, And it's going to be in the last I'm sorry, last round. That's the only question I got for you. I'm gagging. Well, finish answering them. You know, um, you did four interviews the last time so hard. So um, ask your questions that you have. Don't lot. be afraid, baby. Oh, Don't you know, never, afraid. Kelly, never afraid. This is the infamous Kelly show. You know, all, all the international did name me the most controversy, which point in ball ball. He did deem did me that. Well, we, so, could, we could definitely say if R.R. Um, did, did deem you something, you are definitely what R.R. did. Thank you so much. Because he definitely did deem Mother Legend, and none of you bitches can't motherfucking dispute that. No that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, Kelly, um, now, what do you have? A lot of people say you went to Jazz because she got all this money. What are you really contributing to the house of Couture? First of all, one thing, but, but one thing about myself... And Jasmine relationship. If anybody ever see any of my statuses that I put up on Facebook about my sister or any statuses that she put up about me on Facebook, it's genuine it's genuine love and respect. Me and Jasmine relationship goes beyond money. Jasmine could be motherfucking broke, living in motherfucking back in the projects in motherfucking Queensbridge, sleeping on somebody's floor, and Jasmine will still be my sister. It has nothing to do with money. Like with everybody else, that was real. Why the queens think that? Because that's how the queens think. But this, me and this that me and Jasmine has, this that we have here, it has nothing to do with money. Like everybody else, that's the problem that Jasmine had with everybody else. Jasmine fell out with everybody else over money because the girls couldn't take the fact that that lady said no. Me and Jasmine's relationship is bigger than money. 
Money doesn't define our relationship. Me and Jasmine can be broke living on the motherfucking streets and we're going to still be motherfucking sisters. That's still going to be my sister and she's going to die. I'm going to ride or die with motherfucking Jasmine because that's my sister and I love her. It has nothing to do about her money. I don't care about Jasmine's money. Jasmine's money can't do anything. The only thing I can do with Jasmine's money is wipe my motherfucking ass with it. <laughs> that's how, that's that how note, much my time, time I take my time. On that note, we're going to come back or we're going to end it. No, we're going to come back because I know Vicky got more questions on the Vicky and Kelly show.